yes, indeed. So Keith and Lily were on their bike chasing after someone who came from the outside, you know, driving a van towards a secret laboratory, probably, into which Chaos and Freya broke in. Deep underground, you see this, this is kind of what it looks like on the inside. Rather nice, maybe not all. It's a vague, vague idea. Blue lighting all around. Looks very sciencey. And blue is always sciencey. And you, just at the end of the session, uh, got uh, interrupted or approached by Dr. Balalaika. And that's what she currently looks like. Because she's a shapeshift and she can look like anything she wants. Uh, I don't see any new images. Oh, am I on the either? right page? No, you. We not. are on the wrong page. <laughs> there we go. Moved you over. There we go. Oh, wow. Why She's has she decided to look like that? You can well, ask her if you not? like it. <laughs> well, who would think that that was Bella, Bella like him? Come on, who would think it? The, uh, that... That's a good. That's a good point. That's a good point. And you know, she, maybe she likes to look young. Eh. She right. might have an she might have an age issue. Yeah, who knows how old Palalaka? She got arrested so many times. In fact, how does she even get out every time? Hmm. Something to maybe look into. At the moment, though, she says, "Yeah, nice looks. I know." But I think I'm not the only one who look, looks nice. And she looks back at Chaos. You've grown <laughs> up. Huh. You're perfect. <clears throat> That's what we did last time. How would you react now? At the same time, you see Freya's kind of uh, struggling with something near you. What uh, labels was she about to shift on him? Uh, right, she was shifting your freak down and your superior up. You want to resist that? Well, since your freak is at max. Now that I've actually had time to think about it, it makes sense for me to actually accept that. Since she apparently sees him as something more than what most others do. Indeed. <laughs> You know, what was the name? What was your subject name again? Hmm, I, I had it somewhere here, but what do you call yourselves nowadays? You picked up a name, made a family, some friends, she waves over to Freya. <sighs> he just looks over to Freya to see how she's doing. Uh, she's Ouch. sweating. And she's mumbling, don't make me do it again, don't make me do it again. Well, someone seems to have issues. Again. Let's say I've been working on the only two things I love in life. Science and dogs. Aha. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. she, she spreads her arms wide as she proclaims science. Science! I think we should go. Oh, why don't you stay for, well, I don't know, a quick meal? Chaos, look, I need to get those scales under a sample if you don't, under a microscope, if no. you don't mind. No. Really? Are you, that, are you that happy to be what you are? I mean, of course you would be. But just in case you are standards. What did you say? Are you speaking Double draconic standards, now? Standards, I think it's cold. Hmm. No. It might be, it might be. If not, I need to invent it. But listen, if you ever feel like you're not enjoying who you are right now. I do think I can reverse the effect. What do you say? That is very tempting to him. To actually just be able to be a normal kid. 
then again, I think he would probably just shake his head and just try and back away from her. <laughs> oh. Yes, trusting her seems like a really good idea. <laughs> well, I mean, in that case, you found my circular laboratory and redecorating is so hard, so I can't exactly let you leave, now can I? She can. Why wouldn't she be able to do that? Sure you can. Sure you can let me. Well, I might be able to let you go, but I'm sure my boys won't. And at that, you hear the clackering of uh, paws on the ground. And a whole bunch of mechanical dogs come walking in. <laughs> oh, great. Well, at least I don't have one eye this time. Sick him, boys! Hales would basically drive one of his arms into one of the walls and just try to rip it into and just basically create a wall in front of him so that the dogs run into that. All right. All right. Yeah, they do run into that. Right. You, you rip one of the dogs open and you hear Balalek exclaim, My baby! No, not, not one of the dogs. He'll rip into one of, into one of the walls. Oh, one of the walls. Tear it open okay, that works too. That and works create too. a new wall in front of him so that they can't get through it. Nice, nice. Okay, yeah, I understand that. That works, actually. Uh, at that point, Freya... Uh, make me a roll to resist the influence of Palalaika as she's trying to take control over you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Right. Okay, you can resist her influence, however it costs... Or actually, let me, let me get up the, the proper rules. I would say in this situation it would cost you something. You're gonna have to make uh, some sort of evasive maneuver. Something to get away or counteract the mind control that you're being subjected to. Uh. Um. Hmm. Run away! Run away! <laughs> um. She is going to. Uh. Take a powerful blow on herself. Okay. She's yeah. basically trying to like hit her, like dig her nails into her arm so hard to break the ringing in her head. All right, uh, roll to take a powerful blow. It's a good thing you didn't turn on Heos right here. Okay, you do it. Okay. Um. And as such, she will struggle past the pain and gain. She is afraid and. Guilty. Okay. All right. You, as you 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 hear Balalaika from the other side yell, "Oh come on, boys! You've got this special new modification I just made. Go try it out!" And at that moment, the dogs um, come into existence behind you with a huge leap. It seems like they just jumped through the wall without being existent. Right. That explains who stole your bike. Yep. Well, you made a wall and blocked Balalaika out for sure, but not the dogs. There's eight of them. They're pouncing around like wolf packs looking for a weak spot. Mm. They seem to ignore Freya. She smells too doggy, perhaps. <laughs> Heos is, I think, gonna... Hmm, no, not... He's not gonna... Ex... Hmm, what should he do? Uh, 
I mean, if Freya could do something, that would work as well, if you want to take the spotlight for a second. As Heos gets circled by wolves. Wolf dogs. Mecha, mecha uh, wolf I guess dogs. My, que <laughs> uh, my question is, do they smell like siblings, or are they fully just mechanical? They're fully mechanical. Okay. Um. Uh, then I guess Freya will, um, since they are not relatives, they're just machines, she will provoke Heos to kind of just go crazy on him. <laughs> so I will, as my, as my lover, or my love, my crush, <laughs> if you will, um, I will roll Enabler to roll my danger instead to try and convince him he should just tear him to shreds. All right. Hmm. All right. Nice. You choose one. If they do it, they add a team to the pool. If they don't do it, they mark a condition. Well, he's going to do it. Actually, just for the sake of it, going to give you two team here in this situation, just play. And if you want to... Okay, so, yeah, what do you say to him, Freya, though? <laughs> uh, she'll say, they're imposters. They're just machines. Destroy them. All right, if you do destroy them, I asked you're going to get uh, yourself a team extra. Well, time to destroy some mechanics. He's pretty silly going to try and grab one of them by a hind leg and then just slammed into another before tail whipping another into one, smashing it through it, maybe, hopefully. All right, sounds like you're directly engaging a threat here. Bonuses? Or... no. Um... I mean, unless you have something that would count as a bonus here. Or maybe have Not a specific a move no. for attacking. Nah. All right, then roll for it. Oh, damn! All right, then. All right, nice, yeah. You, well. you do as you <clears throat> describe there, and then one of them that you didn't see takes the opportunity to jump on your back, and uh, you feel the burn of a laser from his eyes in the back of your neck, and gets really, fa uh, really uh, well, hot really fast. Uh, mark a condition. Well, I didn't pick which options. Oh yeah, right. You get to also pick the options. Hmm, you can still resist and avoid the blows, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Which was right. one that I was going to go for. All right, what other options uh, do you go for? Take something from them. What are you going to take? <laughs> Their ability to exist. Basically. Yeah, that doesn't work. Okay. Uh, Their power cores. Okay, sure. Going full Metal Gear right in here. <laughs> or heads. Heads are power cores. I think they have the power core in the center of their body. That's the most protected part. Mm. Okay. You take it. Uh, you take it out. It is at least from the ones you grabbed. Um, right, right, right. You realize that the other ones are still pouncing you. You have one on your back who's lasering your back, but he doesn't get through your, your scales. At the same time, uh, you hear more claws coming and the sounding of security. Uh, security breach detected. All personnel evacuate the facility. 
You don't actually know how to evacuate. You remember where you came from, but now you've made a new wall right to where you need to go. Did we? Yes. Yes. But like I came from in front and we tried to back up. Oh, so, oh, you circled each other a bit. You didn't notice. The wall totally blocks oh, you. Oh, fair enough. Blocks the, well, I guess he'll just have to destroy anything in sight then until they get out. All right, sure. Uh, I think I've that's an of... unleashing your power move to see how well you do and how far you get. Let's see. Is there anything uh, Freya want to do with that while Heos uh, gets his role ready? Um, she is a bit incapacitated. She can barely walk. She has to use all her energy to pretty much keep up with him as it stands right now. Okay. Okay, time to roll the freak then. <laughs> okay, you 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 make your way through the facility, uh, Freya limping behind you. I could use teams, right? Or could I? You could use a team selfishly, but only one, and Freya would need to help you to get another mm. team going. Actually, you have three because you start you destroy the dogs, but you would both need to help each other. Fair enough. Then that wouldn't work since we can only get one team. You can each use well, you can use one selfishly, but that would imply you insulting Freya for holding you back because she's so damn slow. Which then she wouldn't help you. Yeah. Ah, I see how it is. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. Okay, because you missed that, I'm gonna make some complications in this. Um... Well, that's one potential. Indeed. Well, there's going to be some complications here. You stumble into, you burst away through a door and stumble into a room. Inside that room are huge life pods. And you see strange semi-biological mechanical beings inside. They look vaguely humanoid. But they Wait. all look different. Hmm. Um, Freya, take another condition because you suddenly get a huge flashback of being in one of those parts all those years ago. Mm. This is how you were born. Whoopsies. Um, <clears throat> she gets is reminded of the sense of hopelessness she had when she was younger. Okay, okay. And as you walk in, a huge blast door closes in front of you around these uh, experimental tubes. It's really, really thick, like blast door thick. You're in a dead end and you hear the remaining dogs jumping up from behind you. They've been chasing you. They're clawing through the debris that you left behind. Heos is going to place himself in front of Freya, in between her and the dogs, and just try and... He's going to basically try and burn them into a crisp, best he can. Alright, I'm going to make this interesting. One of them is about to leap at Freya with a, uh, with a huge sort of extending sword that's going to pierce into her. So roll defend. Oh, <laughs> that is... Alternatively, oh. you can use directly engage, but you're not going to save Freya. Yes, <laughs> I am the villain. I'm going to make you a difficult I choice. I want to <laughs> almost do the take powerful blow to take the hit on Heos, automatically. All right, yeah, you can protect her by just taking a powerful blow instead. I allow this. Okay, then I will do that. So You're see. so nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yikes. Okay, you take a full hit. Uh. Uh, I know which I know how to turn this into my advantage. All right, how do you? I'm turn gonna this to advantage? lose control of my powers in a terrible way. By that, that terrible, by that the fire is not controlled well enough at first, as I hit the first dog. But as I turn it, it just increases in volume and just it, from. Regular fire quality is starting to become more and more blue until it's almost bright bluish white. Nice, okay. Just gustling through the corridor away from the two of them, just burning everything and melting most things. Okay, yeah. Right. Um, from the heat, in the end, both of you pass out and don't really remember much else beyond that we're gonna quickly jump over to keith keith you were in a parking lot and fought some armored mercenaries there let me jump you over to get a glimpse of how they looked right they should be there yeah down here um as you as you get upstairs i know you were trying to escape there you hear sirens from police cars and uh fire trucks because the sprinkler system got triggered, and of course that sounded a fire alarm, and now you have that. Uh -huh. They're already pretty close, and people are running around in uh, firemen suits and police officers. Are you just gonna stand there and be spotted, or is there something you wanna leave the scene un unmolested? I wonder if he's here. Keith, can you hear us? So we have ah, muted we my mic. I figured. Excellent. Well, well um, Keith, uh, since Keith d does not know that Lily is all right, and he heard an explosion coming from upstairs, is he, of course, hurrying to that location and begin to look for Lily? Mm. You are treated to the most peculiar sights. Pieces of the city street go missing. Pieces of other... Yeah, yeah, it seems like the city street is slowly dissolving as pieces disappear from existence. One moment there's a street light, and the next moment the top of the street light is missing. Mm. Uh, pieces of bricks of houses just go vanish. This seems entirely normal. Yeah, you can see pieces of the street have been torn open, and you see the cable. One of the one of the pipes disappears and water starts bursting out. Mm. Is the person who Lily chased in anywhere to be mm. seen? No. Mm. However, what the heck happened here? You might be able to assess the situation to find a way of re, you know, finding that person again. A slight yeah. miscalculation, that's all. Slight miscalculation. Well, you're going to assess the situation. <laughs> Roll to hit. badly. Oh, I do hit. Nice, okay, you can ask one question from the list. Well, what here can I use to find that person? All right, yes. You find a cell phone. It's still laying there on the floor. Uh, looks important. Might not be the person's cell phone, but hey, it's... it's uh, of course it's the person's cell phone. Well, going to look through the cell phone. Uh, oh, really? it's, it's locked. Uh, you know, you need a pin. Obviously. And right now, there's no police officers who see you. What are you going to do? They, they yell to you to... Uh, uh, 
get to safety, honestly. Oh. And they're trying to rush in to help you. Keith is at first confused. Wait, they're going to help me this time. That's not how it usually works. <laughs> they think you're a civilian. <laughs> For now. Uh, well, I'm going to let them evacuate me while he takes the phone down in his pants. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Do, 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 do. Does not want to create any more trouble. Right. The only one who's currently they're gonna they're gonna actually uh, get you to an ambulance to get checked up on because that was a huge explosion. You just stepped right out of the epicenter of that. What do you tell them? Is there anything you tell them, or do you play just an uh, innocent bystander who got uh, caught up in the trouble? You are a hero, my technically. Fri yeah. My friend is missing. All right, was... all right. Yeah, they're, they're trying to get you to describe that friend and where you last saw her. Um, in the parking cellar when she was about to... And she went to the emergency exit to get upstairs. Okay. Yeah, and we'll, we'll he look describes, for uh, And he describes Lily. But you know, that comes... Sometimes she has red hair, sometimes she has black hair, sometimes she has blue hair, you know? Yes. You can't really, so, you can't really be sure about her hair color. Trying to figure, what, what hair color did I have when I was uh, with this beard? Oh, well. <laughs> Well, we're gonna, yeah, they're, they're gonna drive you, you, they tell you you're clearly in shock and you need to, um, first of all, get to, get to a hospital to be seen if you have any lasting damage from whatever exploded here. Meanwhile, Lily, speaking of exploding, you're in the suburbs, some kilometers outside the city center. Of course I am. Yeah, you have your bike with you and you landed in, a, in the garden, in the rose you know, the rose garden of some very grumpy old man who's still yelling at you to get out. Get your damn <laughs> bike off his lawn. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't even remember how I teleported, but I did. Uh, so, oh well. Indeed, you do not remember. Excellent. Well, I'm just going to get on my bike, get out of here then, and I'm trying to figure out the way back to where I was. Well, the man doesn't Which looks part? quite confused as you just buzz off into the night sky. <laughs> this is completely normal. <laughs> Maybe he'll wake up tomorrow thinking it wasn't real at all. Indeed. Indeed. Yeah, you're looking for your friends. How would you go looking for them? Well, to start with, I'll try to get... Uh... To a point where I like, can find my way back to where I was. <laughs> Which basically means get up into the sky and try to get a bird's eye view so I can see where I am and where, well, landmarks are. <laughs> okay. Up in landmarks. Hmm. So I can try and f find my way back to the explosion area. <laughs> right. You see smoke coming from one particular area of the city, and a huge whitish blue flame. Oop, not sure about the flame, but the, the smoke seems like a good start. All right, yeah, it is a, perhaps a good start. You zoom on over there. Halfway through, you see someone else flying through the sky towards there. It's oh God. it's Mr. Sunshine. Uh, <laughs> I knew it. Why? Do you follow him or do you just uh, not? I mean, he is our teacher, I suppose. Maybe ish. So yes. Do you get close enough to talk with him, or do you follow him yes. at a distance? Okay. <laughs> he he kind of he turns around mid mid uh, mid flight and looks at you and says, "Oh, hello." Uh, 
He's Lily. From someone. Lily, that's the one. I didn't recognize you there with... I did recognize your bike. What are you doing out here late? You should be sleeping, young lady. Well, I was kind of exploded. That, yeah. Never mind. I no, have no. need of your help. You can be my sidekick for this <laughs> rescue. Excellent. Or something, maybe. That's good. It gets good. You, he is heading for that uh, now burning area where you saw the blue flame earlier. You're landing momentarily, yeah. and he's, he looks around. It seems there's no fire trucks just yet. We might be the first ones to arrive. Now listen carefully. Our most important thing is to get anyone trapped in there out. Of course. And if possible, extinguish the flames. You got it. It was my fault at all. Ha! Ah, don't worry. I'll go ahead and he runs into the flames. Not even surprised. <laughs> what do you do? I don't think he well, remembered that you're not inflammable. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Huh. I think flammable well, and inflammable are the same thing. You're not unflammable. Yes. Yeah, I would probably just try to first run just to move around the area, try to see if there are any people, if I can, some that I can detect on my scanners or anything else. Yeah, you detect uh, a lot of people uh, who are uh, scattering in th from the area. Uh, might need your help. Yeah, I'll probably move, move to them, though. All right. See if they require help over there. You see uh, Dr. Balalaika is the first person you see. She's got, uh, you know, long black hair and you... You, you wait a minute. You remember she something. A... Does she have a white lab coat? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and somehow you... I, I will never trust the doctor again. You, uh, somehow you think you remember her changing hair color. It's just something in the back of your mind. As she... Wait, what did you meet before? You think you had a conversation at one point, but you don't remember what you talked about at all. Oh. Oh, what? What are you gonna I do? You're confused. Yeah, indeed. Mark condition. <laughs> no! Yes. Oh. <laughs> I am a four condition. Bad. <laughs> I guess hopeless? <laughs> Maybe? Uh, <laughs> yes? Oh god. Uh, okay, Balalaika turns around and looks, looks at you. And she's got this uh, aura of recognition about her that's coming over her face. And um, she waves at you. I'm just tentatively, carefully waving back, like, I. Hmm. Is there any way you could clear a condition by interacting with her? By ramming into her? That, is that destroying something? Yeah, you would hurt is that something foolhardy or to uh, That's for sure. Yes, but, yeah, no. <laughs> but she has the white lab coat, that means she's evil, right? <laughs> <laughs> but remind, remind us not to, to re have you visit any doctors. Yes, I will never trust doctors <laughs> ever. Aside from Umbra, Umbra, Umbra is Umbra. evil. <laughs> yeah, Umbra is just another reformation of the uh, of the you know she, lab coat bash. She's just enforcing the stereotype. Exactly. All right, if then this visit just lasts for a second before Balalaika disappears into a side alley in the shadows. God damn it, I'll try to follow her because I need to figure out what she did to my bike and why she did it. 
And if because we had, yeah, she has a white lab coat. Obviously, it was her fault. Yeah, you can cut her off. You've cut, and if you want to do, do you just want to follow, her or do you want to stop her and confront her? Yeah, I want to confront her because. I'm All stuck. right, you easily enough cut her off with your bike, and um, she sort of raises her hands and tells you, "What are you, some sort of hero?" I would never scare myself of such. Um, that's a nice white lab coat you have there. Uh, why have you? Did you steal my bike? I didn't steal your bike. Quite frankly, I've never seen anything like it. It's amazing. <laughs> it, it's barely average, but <laughs> it was a. It was people in white lab coats that were responsible for my bike getting stolen, so I mean, that obviously means it's you, right? <laughs> well, pierce the mask or assess the situation to... Oh yeah, because I'm good at all of these things at this point. Uh... Well, I'm <laughs> yes, I'm angry and I'm a mundane minus two. Yeah, minus four for pierce the you mask. You can only get minus three at max, so... Excellent. There pierce is the a mask. chance to succeed. Yeah, oh, see? You do it. That's a good roll. Actually... <laughs> Five, six, okay, yeah. Uh, let's see. It moves, pierce the mask. Da -da -da -da. Mm. What is she really planning? Okay. It's just very lying. Right, right, right. What is she really planning? Okay, she is really planning to create a team of uh, superheroes. But I, I wouldn't, or super beings, let's call them like that. A team of super beings. Mm. And she needed your technology for it. They're, your technology is integral to creating them. But if. If you need my technology, you could just have asked. Have you heard of that? Oh, well, I only got the contract. I would have asked, of course. Um, hey, uh, I, got a, I, got, I got an idea. You let me hop on that bike and take me to a faraway location, and I'll, um, I'll tell you who I'm working with. This cannot possibly end badly. You see, you know... Uh, it's only a matter of time till superheroes uh, come here. Even the second best superhero would have been here in two minutes. Why are you afraid of superheroes? Everybody would be. Don't question it. Because they're, they're, they're anti-scientists. They're anti-intellectual. They just solve things with their fists. But you, that my dear, are quite... Are quite different, aren't you? Come on, let me hop on. Falaka just walks over and jumps on the back of your bike. <laughs> what are you gonna do? <laughs> oh god. Is Lily that girl? Yes. Fuck, okay then. Yeah, it would actually be sort of a sacrifice since you're getting the bad guy out. You could relieve your guilty if you have that. You could clear that. One of the things I don't have. Yeah, that's okay, one thing I well, don't have. You, you could take a full... It would also count as taking a full hardy action without talking to your team. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I could see that. So, yes, I'll remove insecure. <laughs> at first, a slightly stupid thing to do. We see at the same time as you zoom off, Mr. Sunshine bursting out from the ground with a mighty punch that sends the earth flying, and he's got the unconscious Chaos and uh, Freya under his arms. Mm. Well, time to get them to a hospital. No time to lose. And he jumps off. I feel like I forgot someone. <laughs> <laughs> yep, Lele. <laughs> yes. Oh, best superhero ever. He totally is. <laughs> All right. We're going to say the next day, Freya, Heos, and Keith, you wake up, uh, or I say Heos and Freya, you wake up in the hospital. 
But Keith is also there waiting for you because you were to the same hospital just to see if you're all right. Uh, mm, mm. No, he actually wouldn't wait for them. Okay. To be fair. Fair enough, fair enough. Very well. They kind of aren't that good friends right now. Okay. <laughs> I mean, now would be the time for you to either run from something difficult, which is be with your team, or, you know, fling yourself in easy relief, possibly both at the same time. Uh... Or you could make a sacrifice by being there, despite your better willingness. <laughs> nah, he's taking the foolhardy hardy action by, you know, shit. Yeah. That was a... Uh... No, uh, he cares afraid that it was that one. All right. Yeah. Um, just like, yeah, I'm out of here. Yeah, you I don't like hospitals. You, you, you know that they were brought in, but you, you kind of see them on stretchers, but you're like, actually, no, I'm just going to leave here now. Yeah. All right. The quicker I get out, the better. Hmm. Yes, where, where would you go? Back to the dorm rooms? No, he would actually go to Miss Hospital's apartment. Um, All right. I actually call her to say to tell her that Lily has probably been kidnapped. Again? Because <laughs> that's what he believes. I mean, at this point, it's almost correct. <laughs> almost. Because that what she believes she is. There was no sign of her at the explosion site. There was no sign of the women. She, the, you know, the other person she was chasing. I mean, she, she might have been disintegrated by the explosion. Yeah, Keith does not know that word. Okay. <laughs> Two advanced <It's> words. Disintegrated. Okay. <laughs> so, and plus, he wouldn't believe that you are dead. No, no, no. Oh. If he did, he would go crazy. Okay. Very yeah. impressive. So... You reach Miss Hartfeld's apartment, you ring the door. What would Miss Hartfeld be doing if she got, an, you know, bringing on her doorbell in the middle of the night? I guess, I guess you, you, did you call her first? No, he didn't think about that. He just went to it. Okay, yeah. What would she, what would she be like and be doing? Wearing? Yeah, I you know, um... Uh, she would actually just be wearing underwear, <laughs> Great. you know, um, keeping her Lovely. left eye closed and her right hand um, behind the door so it w wouldn't be seen. Uh, uh, having, well, she has some sort of, what, a, sh a, a shin, you know, uh, yeah, on her left leg that you get on when you, it gets hurt or oh, help it get like, stabilized again. Yeah, like like a little protector like for your neck. Yeah. And she, you know, just gonna yawn. <clears throat> Who is it? <laughs> it's Ooh. Aos standing there. And you look rather uh, distraught, he... don't you? What, what do you he... mean, Aos? God damn it. There we go again. <laughs> you know, uh, it would just be Lily's been kidnapped, I believe. <laughs> uh, I should cut off. I uh, know. You're scary. You know, and see what John, you know, a couple of more times and just like. Right. Get inside. <laughs> What'd you tell Umbra? Because Umbra might be the best person to find someone who's gone missing. Yeah. Well, she's gonna get the entire story from Keith. But, you know, before she, uh, he's actually getting inside, she's taking a glove on her right hand. Okay. <sighs> One second, getting a phone call here.
Mm, I should actually go AFK to deal with my laundry. The last part was just done, so I need to get it out of the dryer. Yeah, do it quickly. Yeah, I'll be briefly AFK. Okay. I'm back, I'm back. Yeah. Well, um... Uh, Keith will tell her the entire story. And the first thing uh, Rachel does you, is giving him a hit over the head. Why? No. <laughs> you, as you, you do not leave your teammates alone, you idiot. You know, um, she doesn't put any strength in it, but, you know, give yourself that hurt. <sighs> he is not very durable. No, he's not. He's human. At least, maybe he is. And you do remember that her hand is kind of made out of metal, you know, bone, metal bones. Yeah, it's, it's... Yeah. It doesn't make a gong sound, but it's closer than <laughs> yeah. else. Yeah. And uh, she ended up just sending him up to uh, a room that he has uh, in the apartment. And then she calls Umbra and asks her to look for Lily. All right, yeah. We'll see how that goes. Lily, meanwhile, you haven't... Um... If you were to, he, you're gonna go. He's AFK. A bit. He's AFK. Okay, then we stick with Keys and Freya. We're gonna jump to the next morning when Keys and Freya. Yes. Yes. Hey, yes, God damn Freya. it! This is unbelievable. <laughs> Lele is uh, fixing the last bit of his laundry. All right. Yeah. Freya and Heos, you wake up in the hospital bed. You think you had quite a long, quite a little night behind you. Yeah, definitely a long night, most likely. Pretty rough. All right, you're not alone in the room. There's someone sitting there. It's Mr. Sunshine. Up and awake, I see. Good to see you're back with us. How are your heads? Uh, good. I think. Why are you here? I'm here to make sure you're right. You're my students, after all. And a teacher needs to watch out for his students. I learned that way back from my teacher. Huh. I also brought you chocolate. You want <laughs> some? Hmm. Um, yeah. He has some extra large sized, uh, like, bars of chocolate. One for each of you. He just takes one of the chocolate bars and just quite, quietly starts to munch on it. I dragged uh, you off some... Go... Yeah, go for it. Okay. Uh, Freya will go to reach for it, but she sees her hand and seems to get freaked out, and pulls it back. Mm. And then she kind of shakes her head a little bit. Uh, hey, Oz, you get to clear your hopeless by eating the chocolate. I and cleared that last Freya, time. Okay, Actually. that's fine. Hey, you know, you can not clear it twice, but that would be... Freya, since you made a sacrifice to not eat the chocolate, even though you could, you can clear guilty. 
if you're not going to eat it. Yeah. But your stomach is protesting. I dragged you out of a burning ruin. What happened down there? What were your kids doing in the middle of the night? Uh, I went home. Oh. Linda? Not a place I would call home. And he looks over to Freya and then back to Heos. And you think it, something dawns onto him. So, you are from the same place. What happened down there? What happened in Balalaika's old lab? Um, we met her? What do you mean, met her? Damn it. She is still in prison. In 13 different prisons, but somehow she always keeps popping back out. There's something to her that keeps her from giving up on science. Mm -hmm. He shakes her. So you went down there and you met her. What did she say to you? That she wanted to study me, I think, a bit more. Of course she that would. This was a unexpected outcome. Scratches her his head. Did you two know that you were from the same place? He also shakes his head. That's a response. I would shake her head too. Mm, Mr. Sunshine ponders the situation for a moment, leaving the two of you in, uh, in a moment of silence. would give you the opportunity to talk about that with each other. How long ago was it that you were there before this? Uh, Frey, I'll say I was there my whole life. Oh. I think I got tossed out a few years ago from that place. Because I wasn't, uh, did they say? I think they said I was a failure. Uh, she'll say, did you always look like that? No. No. This started happening after I got tossed out. Freya, are you thinking that he's losing or gaining humanity as he changes? Um, well, I feel bad, but she kind of is looking at him, and she remembers the the doll he had earlier, the stuffed animal, and she can that she can almost see him sitting up in his human form when he was just a little kid holding the animal, and she thinks he's losing his humanity because she now remembers what he looked like as a actual human child. Hmm. Chaos. Uh, mark a condition uh, and mark potential. Because yep. you... Which condition? Whatever condition you want. Mark a condition. Your choice. Uh. You can see her ears kind of perked up as she realized who you were, but then they kind of fell back down again as if she was sad to see, realize that you kind of turned into this, I guess. I think he's gonna turn in. 
either insecure or hopeless, maybe. Insecure, I think, would be the best fit for this. Yeah, insecure. He has now minus four to defend. <laughs> Okay. He ain't gonna do that anytime soon. Mr. Sunshine uh, seems to be done thinking about this long and hard. And he says, You know, young heroes, in our lives, we always change as we grow older. Some people change for the better, some people change for the worse. And sometimes people just change because they do. Neither good nor bad. It's very much what we ourselves believe. So Shit. I would like to ask both of you to see the way you're changing as something good, something that you can draw strength from. She told me I could maybe turn back if she started me. What do you think about that, Freya? Do you think you, she was lying? Uh, Freya will say, from what I've experienced, all she'd do was find your weakness and make it, and uh, find a way to change it into strength. She wouldn't revert you back. As she said, she thought you were perfect the way you are. Or so she claimed. And she'll kind of place her hand over her eye patch. Aeos, it is important to listen to your teammates more so than me. And believe in them. He nods. Hmm. I think you should stay in the hospital recovering for at least the remainder of the week. I'm going to inform the school. But my, my body's fine. Oh, really? Well, I mean, if you want to come to my lesson, I'm not going to force you. But if you really he, want to, that would be amazing. He pulls up the blanket and pretends to sleep. Like back. Nope, nope, nope. 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 Huh. The mystery of youth. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Freya? Uh, she'll kind of tilt her head and say, What will you be teaching, Mr. Sunshine? Well, since you last had an encounter with her, perhaps I should teach you about Balalaika. Or, hmm, I could teach you about something entirely different, if you want to avoid the topic. Uh, she'll kind of close her eye and twitch her ears a little bit, and then say, as long as it's not a frivolous topic like math, or no, she like, she'll, oh, she's okay with math. If it's not a frivolous topic like literature, then I will. Uh, I think I will be well enough to attend your lecture. How about a history on the biggest group of swordsmen the world had ever seen? Ooh. She'll nod her head to that. So it'll be. Anything that makes my students a bit happy and puts a smile on their face. Come on, try it. He does an adorable, you know, just not with a with white grin, but just the normal smile. But it looks kind of weird on his big face. Like it's too okay. small for his face. I'm going to roll to see if she can pull off a smile. All right, she kind of can pull off a small smile. He gives you a thumbs up. <laughs> So, meanwhile, 
over at Lily if she's back. Yes, I am. Welcome back. Welcome back. Uh, let's see where Balalaka would have taken you or directed you to go. <laughs> <sighs> she's got a small safe house attic in the top of a, you know, an oldie looking home. Uh, you can hear some woman's cats down below meowing on the door for some reason. They don't want to get let in in the middle of the night, of course, or get fed. Mm -hmm. um, the entire room is plastered with blueprints. Looking at them, there are strange devices for doing this and that. A laser rifle, jet-powered rollerblades, uh, something that seemed to be... Mm, Nano machine knives. Why not? Yeah, yeah. Uh, smart yo yo's. Smart yo yo's. <laughs> yo yo's. The things you spin up and down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good one. And she says, All right, so I had. Just a week ago, since you got me here, I can, and you are a fellow scientist such as I, I never mind sharing, because the more you share science, the bigger it grows. Well, I might be a scientist, but I don't steal. It's not stealing, it's using someone else's idea to build upon it. That's how society is, that's how humanity has grown big. By stealing? Yes. Kind of true. <laughs> <laughs> huh. We don't remember the guy who made the first wheel, but we still use it. The people who built them don't, didn't invent them. Well, maybe, but it's still a human, right? Yes, but if you invent something, you've got to give context to it, and that makes it something new. Of course, give credit when you can. See, speaking of giving credit, I gotta cre give credit to Arms Tech. They've been giving me a lot of contracts recently. Who are Arms Tech? They're one of the big... Uh, how do I describe it? Have you ever what? heard of the Industrial Complex? Assume that I haven't. Okay, imagine that humans want to get other people's ideas. Like, uh, the other people I don't want them to take their ideas, so people need weapons and materials to take the ideas from other people. So, someone needs to provide the means to, for other people to take their ideas. To steal their ideas. Yes. But, again, we just want to improve. I, anyway. So I saw your... They, they offered me to have a look at that uh, blueprint of your... Uh, slipstream device. I just call it a bike, but sure. Wow. <laughs> All right. So I had to take a look at it and had to just implement it into, you know, new ways of using it. Plus, I have to pay for my laboratory somehow. Electricity like isn't cheap. That's... Neither is laser-powered what... rifles. <laughs> what exactly did you do with what you found out? Hmm. Can you keep a secret? Like a scientist between scientists secret. Sometimes. Purple hair promise. She closes her eyes, her, her head starts wobbling as if it's made of Play-Doh and then it just bursts out uh, like a short frilly purple hair. Purple hair promise. Huh, I actually, actually I'm put an emotion to purple. Hmm. Purple is now the color of honesty and promises to be kept. Works. 
that works. Uh, I'm so afraid of what she'd say. That's the problem here. Uh, okay, fine. She. It takes her a while to actually convince herself to. That, that, that that's the case. It takes a while for her hair to turn purple, but yeah. All right. Okay, and she says, "We're trying to build a uh, paramilitary squad that can rival a hero team, grown in vitro, of course, and program <laughs> with prime efficiency, the best of the best." Why would you? Why would you need to though? Well, imagine if we could make heroes. That makes an interesting question, by the way. Do you do you know where the the source of hero powers are? I believe it's genetic. There's some impurity in the DNA of some humans that um has developed over time. Or perhaps some old DNA line that began at the creation of Earth. You know, some people say meteorites. I say it's evolution. Evolution pressure always makes people or a population develop into a certain direction. So if a certain subgroup of humans were put into extreme pressures where only the strongest and most uh, adaptable survived, then that could mean they have superhero DNA possibilities. Of course, it might be recessive, so only a few people actually show it, while many people are the carrier of being potential superheroes. Did you know that at one point in time, there were only about 20,000 humans left on Earth? Really? Yeah, natural disasters and the likes. That really limited the human DNA pool from what it could be. Yes, it would. But does, I understand that we have the concept of evolutionary pressure, but I still haven't seen that in other species cause them to, well, create fireballs. There are frogs who are poisonous to the touch. There are... Uh, there are actually some sort of squirrel mammals that can produce uh, toxin from their, uh, from their elbows. They're the only mammals who are poisonous. So they have got kind of superhero powers. We're just a way more sophisticated species. Yes, those make sense. But how, how is the energy generated, for example? Like, again, for a fireball example. I mean, there is a chemical reaction that happens, but for when I've seen it happen, there's never been, never been a chemical reaction in play. Right. Proteins, you know, proteins can, are like the keystones of the cells. The, uh, right are, you guess, are you guessing right now, or are you, do you actually know? <laughs> a bit of both. Scientist work is always guesswork. There could be nanomachines involved. Like mitochondrions, they don't have human DNA, but they're in our cells, and they produce energy. And um, if it's uh, micro machine, not nano machines, shouldn't you be aware of them then? Because they'll, they they too tend to not appear just out of the blue, out of nowhere. Yeah, again, it's it's probably hero by hero basis. Some people are just magical, I guess. But it's uh, also likely that it's just too far advanced for our. Humans to understand. See, if something is too technologically advanced, it'll always appear like magic to us. <laughs> and if we show a stupid person magic uh, technologies, they'll think it's magic. Like, your Fair. bike might appear magical, but I know it's technology. Well, yeah, this. Perhaps there are so small particles in heroes that we just are unable to detect them yet. Anyway, um, you know, we're kind of even, and remember the purple hair promise, I'll just 
I'm just uh, gonna pack this up, stuff up and gonna keep mo get moving. And, you know, don't tell your friends, especially not the hero ones. Sure. Yes, I did promise after all, so, yeah. I gotta lay low for a few months, and then uh, salvage whatever's left of my laboratory. Mm -hmm. <sighs> like a dragon in a porcelain shop. Mm -hmm. Grumbles. You'd be free to leave. It's At this point, it's like four in the morning. You can see the sun... Uh, looming on the horizon as it turns slightly purple. What are you going to do? You're going to head to the dorm rooms? Uh, Actually, yeah. you, you know what? Yeah, you're about to head to the dorm rooms as there's someone looming in your shadow over you. <laughs> yes. Naturally. You, you feel a hand on your shoulder and someone say, where have you been? It's Umbra. Oh dear. Looking not pleased and somewhat tired. Oh, uh, hi. Uh, you know, I've been uh, around places, things got exploded, got moved somewhere. I, I've been lost for quite a while. Yeah, I've seen the videos. And she, you know, blicks her phone and pops open a Facebook video, which shows you flying through the air and with Keith on your back, and Keith shooting a fireball at a truck. <laughs> yes. Fire bullet. Fire bullet, exactly. Can we see the mark on the car if it has a logo? No, the we actually just see the two of them flying through the sky with uh, Keith shooting fire bullets. Somebody's already made a 420 <laughs> remix where they spin the image. <laughs> Put some oh, goodness please, on it. <laughs> please tell me they are, that they are also showing that they open fire on us first. Nope. No. God, God damn it. You might wonder about oh, this please. later on, but yeah. Um, you've got some explaining to do, Lily. How are you going to explain yourself chasing after people shooting fire, not to mention cause an entire warehouse to explode? They're evil! There's also another video of you shooting a woman with your blaster pistol, and then there's a huge <laughs> explosion. Well, yeah. Do we see who it is? Well, you see the woman, yeah, and she seems unarmed. Do you have an image for who it is? Uh, yeah, one second. I had it here a moment ago. Let me look it up. <laughs> we already know who it is. <laughs> yeah, I'm just wanting to confirm it. <laughs> I just want to confirm if it is. Uh, it is not... Uh, what's his... <laughs> Sorry. It is not Alexander's mother. Oh! They got blown up. I know you um, were speculating uh, a lot, but it's not. Well, that was definitely what I thought. That's what she's looking like. And then, of course, we see the entire street starts what? to disappear and blink out of existence. Okay. That is not his mother, no. Nope. Younger. Unless she also become a shapeshifter. <laughs> that can't yeah, be I, I, his sister I, I, either, I, I know. Yeah, because your sister's in space. But listen, She's not everyone Mars. in my story can become a become a scientist. Uh, I mean, a shapeshifter or shapeshifting scientist. Apparently. <laughs> oh, he's too crazy. Now I know you all don't like to wait for too long would you guys somehow like to rejoin together in some fashion maybe for the beginning of school which is in oh i don't know three hours <laughs> <laughs> who needs sleep right and who needs to be refreshing herself and tend to her hair 
Yeah, mm. I mean, you need to fix my hair. This is true. <laughs> you can either sleep or fix your hair, Lily. Again, these sadistic hero choices. Well, there's only one choice, really. Fix my hair. <laughs> All right. Um, right, Keith, you're, you arrive in the classroom, let me put everybody back towards classroom side, <laughs> far away. Uh, more hope. likely, uh, more likely is he actually getting thrown into the classroom. <laughs> well, I don't know, How, however you want to describe you getting in there is perfectly fine well, with me. No. Well, as he basically just fly through the classroom door, you know, and Whee! yeah, oh, and on the floor as we, as Miss Hartfield stands outside. I told you you need to get to class today. Oh, you know, snap. As, she, as you know, she claps her hand together, and now I have to deal with that annoying video. And uh, <laughs> do you know how many reporters have already called me? <sighs> I did nothing! What a headache! I think you just entered the chaos competition as contender. Yes. <laughs> yes, I believe we do. <laughs> I'm gonna need to fix all this up. Don't make any more trouble, Keith. And you know, he's kind of figuring back like that was not what happened. You know, for a moment, they actually seems like they're siblings, you know, having a siblings fight. <laughs> The way they are talking to each other. All right. <laughs> you know, of course you are the, the highlight of the class. People are asking uh, what happened. Especially Holly is asking you, Keith. What happened? Yeah. Why do you... Uh, what was that about uh, with Miss Hartfell? Uh, well, there's a video online that's kind of mistaking things. <laughs> You can see Wacky turning off his cell phone, looking shifty eye left and right. Oh, yeah. Wow. Really? I swear to the to God that they should have missile at us first. They did. But, Lily! <laughs> Hi! You're not, you're not kidnapped. Thank God. Well, no, no, no. I, 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 I ended up somewhere. Milady was in danger? You should have called me. I would have come to save you immediately. Oh no, I was fine. I had my bike and just ended up on the other side of town somehow instead of getting exploded into smithereens. <laughs> Lobo is actually now sniffing when you say, You smell familiar. Oh? Some, something I haven't uh, smelled uh. in a long time. I'm honored. God damn it, that's him. Lobo is not that long since you last saw her. Hmm. He starts sniffing around. He goes around the room. He's coming dangerously close to chaos. What are you gonna do? Let yourself be sniffed? He just looks at at uh, Lobo and just goes, what? Keep in mind, if you uh, run away from something difficult, you could just jump out of the window <laughs> and avoid the whole entanglement. To clear but afraid. That would, let's see. But I don't have afraid. Oh, damn, you have no conditions? I need to give you some conditions. I have insecure. That's <laughs> it. Sorry about that. I'll try harder. You can take some of mine, please. <laughs> he sniffs on your hairs and says, Hmm. He he smelled similar. Freya. What happened last yes. night? Um. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> someone else does have a fraid. Um. And he kind of looks at her. She looks like she's trying to wipe something off her hands. It looks like, and her hands are kind of red and a little bit raw. And when she hears Lobo say that, she, her ears perk up, she looks at him, her uh, uh, one eye really big, 
And then she bolts for the door. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Freya's quickly out of there, and Lobo's like, was it something I said? Hmm? I don't know. Who knows? I mean, you don't know? Alright, let's see, what, how else can I mess with you here? Hmm. Oh yeah. They might have the same smell, because they were all three down in some weird place last night. I wasn't in a weird place. It was what? a weird place. Emotionally, I was in a weird place. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Yeah. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, Freya. <laughs> Uh, Devin looks over to your shoulder, Keith, and says, You know, I mean, I do believe you when you said they shot a rocket at you. Uh, but I'm a bit worried now because my father said he was cracking down on the whole chaos competition <laughs> nonsense going on. You know, that cold shit would just go through his her back. <laughs> oh, sorry, I thought I was uh, going to give you a back rub. Oh, uh, crap. You know, as he just slammed his head down on the table. I'm dead. I'm so dead. Why? <laughs> you don't know his father. Who's? You know, as he points at Devin. Ah, uh, my father is... <sighs> Feared around the city wherever he goes. He was boasting yesterday that he already froze three city blocks. Wait, uh, wait, Devin, did you say he's cracking down on everyone in the chaos competition? He tries to. I don't know how much success he's gonna have. You know, Keith just taps his finger a bit down, thinking. And, all right, thanks for the information. All right. You know, he looks yeah. at the clock. And uh, I think I need to go somewhere after class. <laughs> okay, Freya, you're in the women's bathroom. What are you doing there? Besides going to the toilet? Uh, she's not going to the restroom. She is furiously trying to wash her hands. Okay. Uh, possibly to get rid of uh, the, any scent that was left behind from where you were. Uh, she also keep after returning there, she keeps looking at her hands, and they look like they're covered in blood. Oh no, how did that happen though? I mean, I don't Twiggle know. Wiggle eyebrows, watching. someone pierced the mask one day. <laughs> uh, oh, we my. should pierce. What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Alright, listen. Okay, but before <laughs> you. Okay, sure, sure. You know what? Uh, let's say the. Hmm. How do we wrap this up nicely? I'm gonna save. Uh, the school day passes relatively uneventful. You're gonna have Mr. Sunshine sing next time because I need to prep that. Get some good information gathered up. And he needs to prep as well. He's taking his teacher job seriously. Second only to being a hero. <laughs> Why go 100% when you can go 120%? Indeed, indeed. Alright. Anyone got any good ideas on how to get rid of some conditions? If you like, go for it. Uh, what can I run away from? What can I smash? Easy relief as well, huh? I mean, I had some idea for what you could run away from. I can create a scene. Keith hugs! Hmm? You gonna hug Keith? 
<laughs> that was the first thing to come to mind when it came when it comes to easy relief for hopeless. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So it's lunchtime, and um, you just see Keith walking with his dinner tray. Now would be a perfect time to give him a hug, right? Yes. Oh, God. Oh, God. Hugs! <laughs> Roll comfort and or support for that. If you, if, you, if you miss that shot, I have something mean that's going to also happen. Oh, yeah, that's, mon uh, that's mundane. Do I have any Oh, yeah, I'm angry, so that's my minus two for that. Uh, oh, thankfully... Oh, great. Thankfully, I did buy... Where is it? Did buy the best of them, I think. Uh, when you comfort yes, or support someone by telling them how they exemplify the best parts of Earth, roll freak instead of mundane. So I may figure out how to do that so I can roll from with freak instead of mundane. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Which it goes from minus two to plus two, which is useful seeing as I'm minus two because I'm angry. Um, don't let the others talk badly about Keith. You're the best fire person in the entire world. From all the other fire, fire users I've seen, you're who are way more in control than they are. Alright. Uh, yeah, I'm going to roll, roll for the best of them. Uh, do, 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 do. Yay! Yes. Oh, yeah. Alright, nice. Uh, yeah, okay. okay, that's the hit, because it didn't get a minus two because of angry, but that's still a seven. Yeah, because you rolled uh, freak, but that's fine. Or yes. Zero, whatever you did. If it was for mundane, I would have failed, but well, I'm happy because of you did so you hit on that roll because uh, my bull's heart, friend, uh, when you, uh, when my love or rival come forward or support you and they hit, roll a hit, I mark a potential. Oh, because mm -hmm. oh, when you come from on, so on a hit, I can, you can mark a potential or clear a condition anyway. So yeah, you can both get a potential and a clear a condition. Them. How okay, but <laughs> he has to open up to you to mark yeah, the, you know get the, get the bonuses from the comfort and support. Yeah, she hugs you. Dangerously balance the dinner plate above her yeah. head. You know, and she just hugs around you. You can see Maximilian and Waki gasp behind you, like, oh no! <laughs> what is personal space? <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Open up to her by telling her that he's the best fire user. Uh, oh well, he would, you know, you know, place the <laughs> food. My wife, for thanks. <laughs> You know, he would place the food down on the on the table nearby while she's she's still hugging him, and you know, take her hands and you know, kind of push her away. Uh, no, you are quite wrong about that, Lily. I'm far from the best fire user on this planet. Anything you're you can best. say to follow up? Oh, sorry. <laughs> you had. You're the best one of all the others I've seen. The others only crave destruction. You actually try to protect people and save people. And as long as your heart is in it, you can always succeed, even if you stumble along the way. <laughs> Mr. Sanchez is outside the window giving a thumbs up with a smile. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, you know, he looks kind of sad. As he just... Yeah. Open but, you up know, to her. <laughs> may, maybe I crave for uh, saving people because I already hurt a lot of people. You know, as he gives a, a weak smile and, you know, would walk off. 
So um, I will not clear conditional market potential because it, that, you know, comfort did not really work on him. <laughs> Aww. All right, so you didn't. Uh, it didn't uh, really open up to her that way. No. Uh, Lily, you hear loud screaming as both Chico McQuarl and Maximilian try to put out Wacky's scarf as he yells, I can control fire too! Lily, look, look, I can control <laughs> fire too! <laughs> oh, this could not possibly end badly. Ah, uh, I, I can control it. Look, it's a, it's a fire no jutsu. <laughs> How do you react, Lily? <laughs> he is shrugging. Eh. Oh. Looking, looking a bit sad at. Oh. No. Eve. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jennifer is sitting next to Devon looking at the scene and she cuts her piece of meat with her finger and says. You can see the exact moment here. his heart breaks apart as she looks at Waki. <laughs> as Lily just doesn't have any care for him. <laughs> oh, I feel bad for Waki. Uh, Indeed. Exactly. Uh, Freya, you've tried to avoid people as much as possible as the day ends. Um, however, the four of you leave the school, you know, because school's over. You just get the four of you together. And Freya, you notice something and someone who is uh, standing on the campus yard and seems to be particularly interested in you. Hmm. Oh, I see where this is going. Keith, you notice she's spray painted over the campus rules. <clears throat> Isn't that against the rules? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh yeah, you it really you, you is. mark that. Put you there as well. Remember Melanie 101? Graffiti is illegal. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she nods her head, not getting what Keith is getting at. <laughs> of course not. Yeah, she yells over. She's about your age. I've been looking for a graffiti artist myself. Someone's been taking, tagging over my tags. <laughs> and that's a declaration of war. Oh, come on, I don't have time for this. <laughs> so if someone here looks kind of like a wolf symbol, she, she <laughs> holds up a phone with the, with the oh, tag that you sprayed over yeah. something saying annual. Uh, Keith is totally looking at prayer. Do I Freya recognize this thing as... symbol on Keith's head. <laughs> yeah, Lily, yeah, yeah, you totally recognize that. It's what Freya sprayed all over her room. Oh, that's Freya's. Yeah, it is. <laughs> so I guess I found finally caught up to the culprit. Listen up here. This can only be settled one way. And she sort of makes like an aggressive forward stance. Whoever by the end of the week has tagged the most buildings and made photos of it is gonna win. Uh, and the other one has you, to put down uh, her spray cans for good. You do realize where you are, right? You know, a hero school? Oh yeah, super duper fantastic hero school, bro. <laughs> All you need is sunglasses and your image is perfect as a douche who goes to school to be the cool. <laughs> well, it kind of does use sunglasses. I yes. figured. <sighs> no, nope. hey, I really don't have time for this. Take a powerful blow, she just insulted your sunglasses and they're iconic <laughs> to you. 
<laughs> no, I do not want to take a powerful blow. Do it. The GM told you. Uh, oh no. Wow, looks like she really grinded your gear. <sighs> so, what do you pick? Pass out. Mm, uh, definitely not. <laughs> flee the scene. But, uh, yeah, he's actually going to flee the scene. Or well, you could just it. run away or you know walk away with brisk step, not standing up to her. Uh, uh, works. You no, know, uh, no, he's just like, nope, I do not have time for this. I have somewhere to be. Bye. <laughs> As he just walk away. You do have somewhere hey, to be. Hey, that was actually. mean. Not as mean as drawing over my art. You should apologize to Keith. He had nothing to do with that. <laughs> I think a hero can take it. At least that's what I heard. Heroes are great and strong. And apparently they need to go to school now to be heroes. What about normal people? Can they be heroes if they don't go to school? Heroes is about doing the right thing. I think. I think you'd need to go to school to make better graffitis. She says, looking at Freya. Uh, Freya will say, if you're trying to provoke me into doing something, that seems ridiculous. Just because you make up this competition in your head doesn't mean I have to stop spray painting. <laughs> oh, so it was you. <laughs> I wasn't sure, I just thought it looked similar. Alright, so I guess I win by forfeit. Well, it, I figured you were the coward dog, running with your tail between your legs. She put, takes up her backpack, puts her spray cans in, and is about to walk off. Uh, what could possibly go bad? Hey, I'm just gonna do something quite mean. I pay for it. You know how he has this tail? He's basically gonna use that and lift her up by the backpack with it. Like Alright, but she's a bit there, away like... from you and see if you can catch her. Right. So go to, I guess. You know what? Freak. Uh, directly engage. You, you try and basically attack her in a way. Alright. Choose what you mark there. Uh, hmm. I think I'm gonna fight on her. All right. Yeah. She she yelps out and then she melts through your tail, splatting on the ground, making an image like a picture of herself on the ground. She turned into color. She turned into what? She turned into color. She melted. Oh, she looks at her and just... I'm impressed. Yeah, there's now a still picture of her on the concrete. Freya's gonna paint her image over it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. She jumps from the graffiti that she's made here before, and she's gonna jump over you and spray onto your bag a huge danger, a donger. <laughs> a boner for the doggy. Oh. Before, as she lands, she splats into color again. She's weird. I think I can make it very fun if she tries that again. Well, Freya is, has uh, made over the mark. She feels a little better. <laughs> and she'll just take her shirt off later. That's the kind of artwork of her that she splats into. Oh, that's beautiful. I've been waiting a long time to use around? Well, hard to tell. There's pictures of her all uh, like in two places now, on the on the on the concrete floor. 
but in the schoolyard, someone day has to clean that up. Freya will go report to Mrs. Hartfelt. Yeah, okay. At that point, I think then she's gone. All right. Uh, Miss Hartfelt, what would you say to having a graffiti troll on your schoolyard? <sighs> well, it is to be expected that many people are going to make pranks on the school. <sighs> We're just gonna call the janitor to make him clean it up. Any idea why she was here? Something <laughs> about this silly idea that she has a graffiti war in her head. On who's that war, Miss Hartfell would say. <laughs> Last I know, a war has two parties. <laughs> hey, yes, pardon said. Right. Yeah. Okay, here's the thing, Freya. She's trying to get you to tell the truth, so you'll have to reject her influence to lie to her. Pew, 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 pew. Okay, you, 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 you say that to her and make it sound honest. You can also choose one from the list. <laughs> you devious doggy. <laughs> I'm not lying, I'm just not, I'm just over-exaggerating who she's going after. <laughs> um, <laughs> but didn't he ask point at Freya? Um, yeah, Freya answered, you know, superheroes. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I will shift my labels. Ooh, which of you are going to shift? Um, she feels superior upon being able to think of such a creative means of explaining the situation. <laughs> and she will savior down because she didn't she wasn't willing to admit she was in the wrong um you know where i'm pretty sure somewhere in the villainy book 101 defense against <laughs> villainy there's somewhere about that line leads to villainy <laughs> i'm sure there's, there's a whole boring chapter about it yes yeah. <laughs> yeah. all right uh, what would miss hartfelt do um in terms of countermeasures. Uh, well... Hmm. Maybe we should get a security guard or two. Probably. All right. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. <laughs> you know what? I like it. Let's have a security <laughs> guard in the future. Mm, what can I do to get rid of insecure? Mm, insecure. Take a foolhardy action or take it to your team. Mm. Well, you could tell Rachel that it was Freya who is at war with her. Yeah, that would be one. That's true. That would it would put Freya in, in, the, in, the, in the red again, but hey. <laughs> And again, and, uh, Freya is like that your friend, feel, uh, right? That, does, that doesn't feel right, Chaos. Okay. We'll, we'll figure something out later. I think this is a good point to end off with our session because uh, Keith, we see Keith rushing to save his friends and uh, somewhere on a skyscraper is uh, Ice Lord. Oh, and we God. know oh. there is got a confrontation coming next session. Um, but does that count as taking a full hardy action without consulting with your teams? Yeah, sure. I'm gonna say it counts. Because you yeah. really should talk to your team that what you're doing. <laughs> Here's the thing though, it's uh, only gonna count if you don't get your team involved at all. You have to do this yourself. 
Well, he doesn't think about getting them wrong. Lily would be in danger. He doesn't trust Freya or Hears. The only one he actually would try to seek help with would be Jack. We can get him involved, yeah. <laughs> if we get to get him out of the bottle. <laughs> oh, yeah, Wait, the that's bottle. where he went. We never got him out of the bottle. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> 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 that explains why he hasn't been around. He's still in the bottle because the uh, owner didn't so give stupid. him back. It might just be the case. <laughs> well, the owner forget that he was in the bottle after having a bit too much cocoa. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> great. Yeah, that's the excuse why Jack's missing. <laughs> Hello, guys. Anybody? <laughs> it's not funny anymore. Yeah. You know, as Keith runs towards the place, he just, wait, haven't I forgotten something? You do this yeah. in the most Mr. Sunshine way possible, just mirroring <laughs> it earlier. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. Beautiful. Well, today's session was fun. Smash destroy so much things. I helped a villain, that was glorious. But you found out what the villain was doing. Yes, and, and I got a lot of... You conditions. learned about humanity in a way, I think, right? I know I can yes. only explain it so much on the fly, like improvising stuff, but the conversation went a lot deeper and longer. <laughs> oh my. Oh my god. Alright, let's do the end of session moves here. Uh, I'm gonna ask, uh, first Freyr, how did you grow? Um, closer to closer the team. Closer to the team. Alright, who in particular? I can't take a guess. Chaos? <laughs> yeah, Chaos. Let's get the two of you Yay. So, tell him how he made you feel welcome. And then give influence to him. Uh, she now knows that they share a similar-ish past. And he was in the hospital with her, and none of the other teammates seemed to care about coming to the hospital for them. All right. I was kind of busy elsewhere. All right, so he already has influence over you. So shift uh, Freya's labels in what you think represents her uh, new self. What is her current labels? Freak 1, Danger 2, Savior minus 1, Superior 1, Mundane 0. Mm, I think... Danger down and save her up, maybe? Oh, interesting. <laughs> or mundane up, actually, instead of savior. Because she seemed a bit more normal to him. Well, she's been nice to him, so. Yeah. Danger down, mundane up. All right, nice. Next one, Keith, how have you grown? Uh, closer to the team and closer to Lily. Yay! Yeah, you already have influence over you, don't I? Yes, I you make yes. feel welcome. All right, we also left off from last session, where, which is also possibly included. Exactly. Hugs! Uh, uh, <laughs> you know, she didn't really, you know, comment on the fact that, you know, he was in the dumpster when they met. Um, she only sticks up to defend him. When someone is mean to him. Alright. Let's see. And, and she did, you know, also listen to him when he told her to, you know, to follow after the lead. Yes. 
She probably you should probably should ask her if she got up with anything. You know, maybe you should pierce her mask and get her purple hair sworn secret out of her. <laughs> yeah, but why would he distrust Lily? Exactly, true, true. Yeah, yeah why would she hide so, anything from her? Yeah. So, Lily, you can shift my labels. Uh, what do you have? A freak tree, danger minus two, savior one, superior one, mundane zero. Uh... I'm not going to raise your danger because Lily doesn't say you're dangerous. Um, <laughs> which is annoying because it means you need to use reality storm when you need to engage, I know, but. Um, it went well last time I used danger. Yeah, I think I'm going to lower your superior and raise your savior. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I'm evil. You're so evil. I. I did really like that those superior that superior. Especially because see, Rachel had none of that. <laughs> yeah, superior's my thing. <laughs> That's my excuse. And strikers. And I my like, potential. Lily, how did you grow? Uh good freaking question. Well I did work because it's also the last episode uh, last part so that uh, I got closer to the team and because of Keith, because yeah, we Chase those people like a team. All right, get influence over Lily. You already have it. Shift her uh, hands. I already. Uh, what what am I going your... to remove? Um, what are your currently labels? Uh, freak 2, Danger 0, Savior 1, Superior 2, Mundane minus 2. I have a weird setup. Hmm. I want to remove Afraid, actually. I'm no longer afraid. Granted, it's easy to run away, but... Mm, let's see. Which one to shift? I need to remember I can actually use Unleash my powers using my stunning beauty <laughs> somehow. Yeah, you could use your stunning beauty. Uh, I don't even want to imagine how that would work me, but I will. <laughs> Just gotta trail your hands through your hair and fling it to the side. Yes. The same, the same as Devin can do. <laughs> yes. Right, um... Did you shift? Uh, I think Mundane up. Yeah, Mundane up. You know... You're always trying to comfort him, being nice, actually, being very human, considering you're an alien. Yes. <laughs> I do my best. And then... Superior down. Oh. Because you're a bit... <laughs> because you're a bit more like a sort of... <laughs> that well, that's so much for... <laughs> well, so much for exploiting my Kirby craft. <laughs> Sorry. Oh well, I guess, guess. guess I'll have to take one of the moves that allows me to increase my own superior. I think I have one of those. Uh, yeah, you always have two. You have two um, advancement that makes you add plus one to your labels yeah, and I, does something as well. Just so no. I think I might, might have had a move that increases my superior in exchange for something else, but. Last seem like one it's... on the line. Chaos, right? We haven't gone with you yet. How did you grow? Closer to the team. Wow, everyone grew closer to the team. That's good. Yay! Team! Oh. Who made you <laughs> well, particularly you welcome? You can, you can probably guess who. Uh, Rhea! Jack! Yep. Oh, I, got, I was way off. Uh, right. <laughs> Rhea. Okay. I mean, she she treats him like more of a normal person than anyone else, and seems to accept him for what he is. So, therefore, she gets influence over him. Right. You get to shift his labels then, Freya. Um, Andy, that would put you over the edge. You can't shift a savior down, otherwise everything's uh, go. Yeah. I have two freak, two danger, minus two saviors, 
two superior and one minus one mundane. I suppose freak up and superior down. Okay. <laughs> All right, nice. Everybody sh shifted their labels a bit around. I gotta get into shifting your labels more aggressively as well. We'll see I how really this happens. I and really now I have like... full potential. Woohoo! I really like my labels. Three I... minus two, two, zero, zero. <laughs> I like my labels when I have three superior. And I also had full potential. I yeah. fail too little. Yeah, you always yeah. had good good rules today, Lily. <laughs> yep. Well, I almost always do. Despite yeah. the fact that I was actually really bad at comforting for this time, but nope, still succeeded. Well, I did use the best of them, so yeah. Yeah, you could just have you know done it a more mundane way. Yes, I could have. But then she would have failed, and that could have gone badly for Keith. Or Lily yeah, herself. Lisa. Anyway. That meal was dangerously wobbly. Yeah, I had a feeling about that. <laughs> yeah, that would have that would have totally toppled over her in case she failed. Oh dear. And I have picked what I got from full potential. And what did you get? You move from another uh, playbook. Took oh. one from the innocent. Martyr. What did you call it? Martyr. What does it do? Mm. When you take a powerful blow while defending someone or something, you may shift savior up and any other label down. Yes, yeah, so you can get extra bonus to saving someone. That goes with your what your character did this time. Yeah. That well. So that's what I was thinking. Nice. All right then. Next time. We're going to be learning a bit about uh, the core of Blades and how Keith is going to help his uh, new friends. The court of what? The court of Blades. Oh dear. It's not like they are going to have anything to do in this campaign or anything. No. With oh, that totally wording, not... they're going to have it. I'm going to, I still have two conditions. All right, I think then. I'm gonna clear it secure since I grew closer to the team as well. Yeah. Nice guys. I'll see you all next week. Take care. Same bad time. Same bad channel. <laughs> bye, bye bye. Thanks for the RP.